Book of True Life, Teachings of the Divine Master, Volume 12, Spiritual Teaching 343, Love Each Other. 1. As charity and love, I manifest myself to all who seek me. Humanity travels through various paths, but Elijah is tireless preparing the way and as a luminous beacon shows you in this time the port of salvation. 2. You, people of Israel, will take my word to the whole world. You will raise your plant without being afraid of the waves of the rough seas, without contemplating the discord that feeds humanity. You will defend yourselves with the weapons of love that in you I have entrusted to your spirit, and with my law you will remove the blindfold of darkness so humanity will recognize me and form also part of my beloved people. 3. Do not magnify yourselves before your brothers. Be humble and show them good examples. 4. At all times, humanity has failed to appreciate my charity. It has ignored him who has created everything in the universe that exists. The Master has revealed to you the why of all causes, so that you are in harmony with creation, complying with my law, that law that does not cause you pain, but will lead your spirit towards eternal peace. The men have forged different laws and have shown different ways to their fellow men, but in them they have only found pain and confusion, and great crowds have fallen into the abyss. 5. I will put a stop on the wickedness of the human being, those who divide the nations. They will meet and cease to reap innocent lives. Here are the widows, the children, who, abandoned and orphaned, travel the roads that come to me, O oh, beloved people. 6. Men in their blindness fear my divine name when pain surprises them. Are my blessings that I have given you because of my perfect charity, are they the cause of suffering? No, my children, the origin is in its own sin. 7. All their pain is the fruit that they have grown for their disobedience, but you will bring to the peoples love, concord, and peace that I am offering you. 8. I have announced to you that false Christ will arise among men, and also from among you many will be confused and will give access to the temptation to confuse humanity. But before my justice, all spirits will appear, and then I will ask, what did you do with my mandate, with my teaching? I will also ask you, what is the love and charity you have given to the world? My light will dispel the darkness to save mankind from their sin and to remove the blindfold of darkness from their eyes. So my love will be helping you to reject temptation so that everyone will contemplate the path of light that I have traced for you. 9. The fight is coming, O beloved Israel, but in the confusion of ideas that will arise among humanity, you will be the irises of peace, giving the example of spirituality and love and breaking the chains that bind them to materialism. You will talk humble in word and you will show the law in your spirit so the world will recognize you. 10. If you are ready, you will rise up, carrying with your example the Marian Trinitarian spiritualist banner, carrying faith, hope, and charity and you will cross seas, deserts, and valleys to alleviate the pain of humanity and give my peace to those who have drained a cup of bitterness. 11. I have given you the light, the teaching, and my mandates in the Third Testament that, together with the first and the second, they form a single teaching of love and charity so that men love one another so that they no longer forge again the golden calf, nor feed fanaticism and idolatry, which is what has kept you from the true path. 12. 
I come to rescue the spirits so that they no longer feed the superfluous and bad that temptation has shown them. This is your struggle, O Israel. My love will be manifested in all the roads of the earth, and no one will be able to take away your charity that I have put in your spirit. I am your Father who descends to sweeten your lips, who encourages you with my peace, that I engrave my word with indelible letters in the deepest recesses of your heart. 13. I come full of meekness so that you take my example. I speak to you through different spokespersons in compliance with what was said by the prophets, and you feel peace and comfort when you are with me. I have returned in this third era with great spiritual flows to entrust to your spirit. 14. As master, I give you one more page of the book of my teachings. In my word, I give you the consolation and the life of grace so that you continue on the path that leads you spiritually to me, where you will find true happiness. 15. Short is the number of those who have prepared to feel my peace and listen to my voice in the depths of their being to become the messengers of this peace. 16. You are my people, the one who has been marked from the first era with the blood of the Lamb the one I rescued from Pharaoh's slavery. 17. From time to time, your spirit has been evolving through different subjects. Only I know the pain for all that you have passed, but with the experience you have acquired, you have come closer and closer to your father. 18. This time is one of restitution, so that tomorrow you will not find yourself suffering in the spiritual valley. I have come to free your spirit from all its chains so that it can rise to the Father and reach the Divine Mansion where I wait for you. 19. Great is my love for you. I no longer want to see you suffer and cry on your way. I want to see you with joy and practicing my law on the path that I have prepared for you. My spiritual world is ready to help you in the fulfillment of your delicate mission. 20. My word is the divine consolation for your spirit. Always carry it in your hearts so that you are with me. Forgive your brothers when they tear my work, when they tear the garment with which I have adorned you. Leave this cause to me. Show the good example in imitation of your master, and thus you will see that your brothers will not again disturb your peace, and will only come to you and ask you, how have you acquired such greatness? 21. It is not my will that you become familiar with pain. If he has purified you, it is because you have needed it. Now that the experience is with you, seek my peace and continue on the path. Work tirelessly so that my word is among humanity. They are the prepared lands in which the seed will blossom and bear its fruit, because wherever three hearts meet, bearing the grace with which in this third era I have come to donate to the Spirit, there I will descend to give you my warmth and my caress. They are the spirits that belong to whom I have called. They are the ones who, having fed fanaticism and idolatry, I have called from the different creeds and rites. 22. Beloved people, in all times I have called your spirit, but you have not known how to bend matter to fulfill my mandates. 23. Not all of you understand what each of the seven rungs of the scale mean to incarnated spirits. They signify the evolution that each spirit must achieve, because you will have to return to me clean as you sprang from my spirit. But in your different reincarnations, you have stained your spirit and disobeyed my commands. For this, beloved children, you have come to the world again to restore. 24. I have listened to you in those spiritual valleys, sorry for not having complied with my law. You have told me, Father, Father, grant me a subject to fulfill your mandates through it and I have granted you that opportunity. I have sent you to this world so that in a new body, 
you can fulfill. 25. Do you think at this time only a small number of you listen to my word? No. Really, also disincarnated spirits receive this message. 26. At all times, I have manifested myself to you according to my will, to make known to you one single law, a single mandate from a single God, who in three eras has rescued you with his divine love. 27. My law is love and charity. From the first era, it was delivered to you through Moses, so that you might be governed by her. In the second era, I told my disciples about my second manifestation, and they asked me what signs will there be of your coming at that time. I told them that humanity would be unknown, that there would be great wars, fratricides, that each other would be unknown, that evil would multiply. Now I say to you, childhood has been polluted with evil from an early hour. There is no peace in nations or in homes. Parents do not give their children the good example of respect and morality, and for all this, how much my spirit suffers. 28. My word has been among you, so that you may show the light to yours, and not leave them in the darkness. I have given you the light, so that you remove blindness and ignorance. 29. I have come to give greatness to your spirit, greatness that is in the fulfillment of my law, which is my love. More than this greatness, you have to make yourself worthy, fulfilling your mission in imitation of your master. 30. I have communicated through the spokespersons because I do not want you to be hungry and thirsty, because my word is the bread of eternal life. It is light, and it is the teaching that I have come to give you, so that you may be good disciples who imitate those of the second era. 31. The crowds get confused and take the spokesperson as my divinity. No, beloved children, I am in the essence of this word, in the light that I send you from perfection. 32. I am a father of love who patiently waits for you at the top of the mountain, and from there show you the steps of the scale that manages to raise your spirit. But those who have been fragile will be touched by the representatives of the different sects and religions. 33. Not all of you are going to become my true servants. Not all of you are going to be strong when this test comes. Many of you will deny me as the beloved disciple who denied me even while being with the Master. 34. The time that I will be communicating with you through the spokespersons is short, but before my departure I will leave you full of strength and power so that darkness does not envelop you and you fall into the abyss. From the beyond I will send my strength and the great armies of my spiritual world will be in your aid. You will defend yourself with weapons of love. 35. I have given you those weapons that, like flashes of light, will reach the great crowds. In all times I have defended, and I have not left you. But in this time, you will only stop listening to me through a spokesperson to receive my revelation from spirit to spirit. 36. My law has not been dictated by man, it has sprouted from me, but the world has forged around my teaching different religions, creeds, and rites according to their understanding to say to humanity, this is the true path. But I have not formed religions, I have only shown you the law at all times. 37. In the second era, to make it unforgettable, I gave you my body and my blood, and that sacrifice of the divine love will eternally tell you, love one another. 38. The true people of Israel, 
It is by the Spirit, and to him I have given my word greatly, so that they not be confused, and with the sword of light and love defend my work. 39. I have not come to look for your matter, because it, after completing its mission, will return to the earth. I tell you this, be concerned to preserve the garment of the Spirit and adorn it with good works for your brethren. 40. I love you with divine love, and again I say to you, forgive your brothers as I forgive your mistakes. I do not give you away or sentence you. I only give you my caress in the depths of your heart and spirit. If you know how to leave me the cause of those who offend you, in due time I will weigh the works of each one in the balance of my perfect justice. 41. You only show meekness and the smile reflected on your face, so that with your example let those who carry the darkness of this world bend and you be those who show the saving basket and rescue the spirits that belong to me. 42. Do not fear the darts of humanity. Give him my teaching and tell him that my kingdom is not of this world. The God of this world does not hear or speak to them, nor do they see him in the way that religions believe. Moreover, I listen to everything. I contemplate everything and I know everything. I know what every heart asks of me through the images. Today I tell you, as I said in the second time, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 43. Approach the sick person, and rising from spirit to spirit, leave your love and your charity in him. Imitate my examples of the second era. I have left the sensitivity in your heart I have given you the light and the gift of healing. Penetrate the elevation of your spirit and I will be giving the balm to the sick for your conduit. 44. I do not come to look for the quarry temples. I come after the temple in your spirit and heart to dwell in him when spirituality exists in you. 45. After 1950, you will meet in my houses of prayer and prepare for your spirituality to be in you. Already you will not listen to my word through human understanding, but you will be able to communicate with me from spirit to spirit, and your songs will be the elevation of your spirit. 46. The tests are going to be great, and not all of you are going to stand up firmly. Many of you are going to fall off the cliff and leave the light that I have given you to penetrate into the darkness. But those who persevere and be firm, you will be worthy of my glory. I give you the teaching, but it is up to you to study and analyze it. 47. Israel, 66 years have passed in which I have entrusted you with charity and more charity. I have poured out my pleasure so that you recognize me as love and be able to fulfill my law. 48. I have spoken and prepared your spirit so that in this third era my divine word would communicate through human understanding so that when the final moment of this communication has arrived, do not tell me. We have understood nothing of your teaching. We are still toddlers who do not understand the trusted responsibility of the mission that you have given us. For this reason, beloved people, I have never abandoned you and have tirelessly given you my word, and even this instant my universal ray continues to descend to you. 49. I am perfection. I am life. I am love. And it is not my will that you get lost on the roads, that after I have called from the slag of sin, you return to lose yourself in the ways of yesterday, and stripping yourself of my grace, you return to the darkness to confuse you with the folly and materialism of humanity. No, beloved people, I have named you the Marian, Trinitarian, spiritualist people, so that you may demonstrate to men the infinite grace that you have received from me. 50. 
I have prophesied much to you and told you, Prepare yourselves, Israel, for times will come when false Christ will be among you. You will be touched, and the flowery word of man will reach your ears, and if you find yourself unprepared, you will fall into the claws of temptation. You will become the disinherited and will retain my graces. The bread that I have given you, you will throw it away, and in truth you will feel hungry, needy, and ragged when this is not my will. 51. Therefore, beloved Israel, recognize that with my word I have traced the true path to you. I have given you my law so that you will do my will, so that you may be the disciples who set a good example and faithfully fulfill your mission. 52. I am not asking you for the impossible. Everything I expect from you is possible. The cross that I have entrusted to you will not weigh on your shoulders, and if for a moment you feel heavy, it is because you have not understood me, and you have not been able to get away from your materialism. 53. In the first era, Moses went to the head of Israel to guide them through the desert for forty years to the lands of Canaan. But because of disobedience, unbelief, and materialism, some blasphemed, others denied, and still others revolted. And Moses, faced with such a situation, spoke to them with prudence and patience, so that they would not offend the supreme will, and be humble and obedient before that father, who, without contemplating their disobedience, brought down the manna from heaven, and water gushed from the rock. 54. From these examples, I make known to you, beloved people, so that you may walk along the true path, and do not seek other paths, because you yourselves would carve the pain. I have posed you in the true path, so that you fight and work, making you worthy of my charity and my infinite mercy, so that at the end of your journey you can find the land of promise. 55. The moment will come when you will ask me that my divine word continue to pour out through understanding, through the spokesman, and you will prostrate with your knees to ask the divinity to descend its ray to speak to you about the law and give yourselves the love to continue the path. But when this happens, you will remember that as in the second era, after the marked moment of the departure of the Messiah, you will no longer hear my voice in that way, and from that moment you will recognize that my presence was with you, and that by your materialism you became familiar with my word. 56. Your awakening will be late, very late, Israel, and this will cause my most loving heart to suffer infinitely. 57. Beloved people, I want to rejoice with your spirit. I want that when you come before me, I say to you, Beloved children, take the reward. My divine love places the laurel wreath on your temples and opens the doors of my glory to you, so that in my love you enjoy the happiness that is in my spirit. 58. The human will is raised, saying that my divine word will not cease to communicate through human understanding, that even my universal ray will descend to communicate some time after 1950 through the spokespersons. Great mistake and great fault have been committed by the incarnated spirits in these matters, because they have forgotten that I am perfection. They have forgotten that I am the inexorable law. They have forgotten that my word is as a king's, and not to go back. Because I have told you that before the sun would stop shining, that my word will not be fulfilled in the universe. I have prophesied to you. I have marked a time for the end of my communication through human understanding, and it will be sure. But I have also told you that I will not abandon you, that I will contemplate your preparation 
and hear your prayer of the disciples, of those to whom at the last moment I have to deliver the last orders, so that they carry the orientation and know how to take advantage of it until the last moment of life that it grants them in this world to prepare the new generations, so that they leave this land prepared with love, understanding, and charity. I will prepare the roads by which my beloved people will travel. 59. Truly I tell you, you will not have this manifestation again after 1950, and if the man gets up wanting to ignore my will, forging the work of his free will to deliver it to the world, he has to answer me for this. I have prepared and I have told you, beloved people, my will is obeyed. My word is fulfilled throughout the ages, and I tell you, the time will come when you will not hear it again in this way. Therefore, store in your heart my word and preserve the essence of these manifestations, because tomorrow you will uselessly ask the Father, because my universal ray will no longer descend to communicate through human understanding. 60. Prepare, obey, work, and give to your brothers what I have given you. Speak and give the good news for everyone to wake up. But those who want to forge a materialistic work, adding it to my law, saying that the master will continue to communicate through the spokesperson, if they insist, if their foolishness is great, they will only listen to the false statements. 61. Today, that the light of the Holy Spirit is among you, people of Israel, fight and work in imitation of your master. 62. Great is my wisdom, but it is up to you to study and analyze my word. Start to fight and to work, because on your way you will find the needy of my light, of my teaching. You will find the wicked, the humble, and also the elevated man, and you have to talk to all of them and show them my work. Approach the door of the heart of this humanity and knock for the first, second, and third time. And if they remain closed, then go ahead. If, in addition to not listening to you, they tear you apart, be patient and go after the multitudes that need encouragement, comfort, balm for their spirits. Draw near to them and anoint them with my word. 63. Get away from everything that disturbs your mind and surrender to prayer so that your spirit is in communication with his Lord. Be the example for your brothers who are blind. Show them spirituality. Your understanding will be enlightened so that you know how to teach the multitudes with my truth. There are hearts that feel comfort with your words. Thus you will awaken all humanity. Then there will no longer be selfishness or bad wills, neither bitterness nor tears, and when they are before me, I will say to them, Blessed are you who come to the Master to bring one more atom of my light for the evolution of your spirit. 64. Humanity is hungry for my word. They are the needy who knock at my door, which I have left in the care of you so that you receive the new generations. 65. Meditate on each day and communicate with me from spirit to spirit. The roads are prepared by Elijah. He has illuminated you like a luminous beacon. Besides having been the forerunner of my manifestations in this third era, its mission will end until eternity. 66. After 1950, of the multitudes that have listened to me, some will continue with me, and the others will leave to their different roads. So it will also be among my chosen ones. Some will rise in haste to unify those who, by their spirituality, goes ahead, and the others will again be parked in their materialism. 67. My true disciples will rise prepared and will know how to carry out my mandates. They will be an imitation of my son Lot, the one who in Sodom and Gomorrah knew how to keep himself clean. 
when he received my command to abandon those lands that were to be purified. My disciples will also come out ahead of every trial. 68. Always carry in your spirit the example of Abraham. When I asked him to sacrifice his own son, he knew to trust in his God and proved his great faith and obedience. And when he was ready to sacrifice his beloved son, I sent my angel to stop his hand. So, because of his faith and obedience, I made him a great promise, so that by his conduit will reach humanity. But I have not come to ask you for any sacrifice. I only remind you of Abraham, so that you imitate him in his faith and obedience, and I promise you that you will conquer eternal life. My peace be with you.